Hey there all craft beer lovers, very much welcome to another beer review. So for this time around guys, we are uh, going to the UK, new company, uh, never heard of these guys actually, uh, saw this one and pounced on it. Uh, we are going to Asves Brewing Company, there you go. <clears throat> uh, brewed and packaged by Asves Brewing Company, these guys seem to be out of Liverpool. Uh, this is their uh, ferro fluid propulsion, double India pale ale, clocking in at 8%. Uh, Hop to Citra, Eldorado, and Galaxy, they say. Uh, and there's that futuristic looking artwork. Uh, back there it says contains barley, oats, and wheat, they say. 440 ml can, if I forgot to mention that. There you go. There's the can, there's the artwork. Let's give it a pop, see what we get. 8%er. Right. Always interesting with a new company. A little bit of smoke. So, yeah, I don't think I've heard about these guys. So, so when I saw it, you know, I thought, well, let's go for it. Always interesting with new breweries to try out. There we go. It looks like a nice, hazy number. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, oh, it smells very nice. Okay, final drops are out. Right, okay. So guys, in view, what do we have? Now I poured pretty aggressively, of course. Three fingers worth of head, I would say. Bright white shining. Uh, almost no bubbles on top. Looking very, very hazy, golden color. You can hear the carbonation hissing and fizzing. Oh yeah, aroma. Yeah, lovely tropical notes. Yeah, certainly orange on the nose. Hint of lemon zest in there. Yeah, orangey, lemon zesty, that's what I would say. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of fruit cocktail notes. But I would say that orange and that uh, lemon zest is in the forefront. Little bit of a uh, kind of a floral uh, hop back background to it. Okay, smells lovely. So with that said, let's dive in, see what we get. Cheers, everybody. Not bad, not bad. Initial tropical burst on the flavor, quite refreshing. A little bit of mango, orange, lemon. Then in the middle, unfortunately a little bit there, you get the alcohol. It's, it tastes quite boozy actually for being just, I think it was 8%, right? Uh, yeah, 8%, so just an 8%er. But it tastes like uh, like a 10, 12 percenter actually. And then it comes out like, like a more lingering bitter aftertaste on this one. Floral, almost a little bit of grassy, dry bitter. But that alcohol still lingers a little bit there. Uh, let's go for a second sip, see what we get. So there's all, almost like a uh, like a note of grape, and I don't mean grapefruit. I mean grapes. The sort of uh, kind of white grapes, almost like a vineness touch to this one as well, which of course is interesting, which makes it a little bit more complex, and that's that's just interesting. Uh, uh, final sip, guys. Let's go for the final sip. Uh, a little bit intrigued by this one, actually. Mm. Mm. <sighs> yeah, so the more I drink it, the more things I get actually, so that's kind of interesting, which kind of turns the table a little bit here, and it makes the beer a little bit more interesting than, than I thought it would be since the first sip there. 
Now, I do get still get a little bit of alcohol, but the alcohol is also a bit replaced now by white grape notes. A little bit of bite, hop bite, and a lingering bitter dry aftertaste. Initial burst of tropical fruits, mango, lemon, orange, white grapes, a little bit of alcohol, and then you get that dry back end with a kind of a hoppy bite to it as well, lurking about. For me, very interesting, uh, what was it called? Uh, Asves, Asves Brewing Company. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Ferrofluid Propulsion, double IPA, 8%. A uh, little bit more complex than meets the eye, actually. And it actually turned a little bit after a few sips there. I'm going to give it a, just for that sake, I'm going to give it a 3.75 out of 5. Thank you for watching.